the thing that it takes it's going to take you maybe even longer to get used to is the fact that you you can hear mentally if you've heard a metallica record before or even some of the new ones you know that's where the song should end that's where it should end but it doesn't end there it just continues you're like ah okay here we go all right well one more time let's just go <clears throat> let's go uh four measures more all right Oh, we're turning into eight. All right. It's just, uh. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Heretic Circle channel. It is I, Jack, and Metallica has a new album. 72 seasons. What do you think? Before we get into it, like, subscribe, share, go to hereticcircle.com to reserve some awesome vinyl, get some shirts knickknacks whatnot out of that out of the way let's talk about 72 seasons now this is a 77 minute album and i'll give you this it's pretty grand the idea of the album is that uh, per james hetfield 72 seasons represents the first 18 years of a person's existence and how they're molded um by either their beliefs or their parents beliefs um no more ultimately how they have to come to the conclusion of who they are it's a very personal record from what it seems like for for james hetfield now musically it is metallica it is a very big bit bold metallica album but there are issues with this record i went to the global premiere and in, in cinemas to see this uh, this album or hear this album. And it was really cool because I like music documentaries and it had that kind of documentary style to it. Explanations on every song from some of the members. Um, but there's one thing that it, it seemed to be so blatant. And it, we've seen this already with some of the songs and singles that have been released. Uh, there's no editor <laughs> or, or Metallica needs an editor uh, for this record. There are songs that they're punchy, they're fast, but they go do, they go about one minute too long. And I'm pretty sure the internet will find a way to edit these, edit these songs down. And you're going to hear like a more, fleshed out, focused album. Hell, they'll even turn it from 77 minutes to 72 minutes. So 72 seasons will be 72 minutes. So there are songs that literally take you back to Kill Em All uh, and Justice and For All. Uh, there are some songs that sound uh, like the Black Album, um, specifically Sad But True. Um but it's just that there's a flow to the record that just goes kind of off. For example, uh, the first three songs, they're in. You're in. You're you're going. Or as Lars likes to say, they're in the pocket. <laughs> he really liked to say that. We're in the pocket. Um, where it slows down, it comes to like a screeching halt almost, is sleep sleepwalk my life away that song is it's more sludgy but on contrast to uh 72 seasons the opener shadows follow and screaming suicide it is slow like you're going from you're starting off at 80 miles per hour and then you're setting slow down to about 30 um even the next song after that, You Must Burn, is still a sludgy song, kind of. And it doesn't really pick up too much. You end up going from maybe 30 miles per hour to about 45 miles per hour. If anything, you really start to go back to, all right, here we go. 70 miles per hour, you know, with Lux Eterna. And it, it's, for, for me, the concept of the album is cool, but it seems to not focus on the seven the, the 18 years of one's life because there eventually there's a song on here that when they were describing it it talks about 
coming back from tour. Um, it, I guess it's more generalized to, to James, but going back. So there's a song, the crown of crown of barbed wire. Um, it does. That's a slower song, but there's something about that song that does. It it keeps it grips you, and it's really the melody. They they went pretty melodic on that one. There's a song on here that when we were watching it in the theater, <laughs> I wondered if this was a glitch. Um, it's called "Chasing Light." Now, the way Robert Trujillo described it as the song, it kind of reminds him of a scene taken out of like a. Um, a, a chase scene in San Francisco, but what we saw, and it's on Spotify. So if you have Spotify and you go to the song and you look at the visualizer, that's exactly what we saw in the theater. It's just white pixels and black pixels going all over the place, and at one point it almost causes epilepsy. So <laughs> it's interesting, but I'm like, I don't know if this is supposed to be it, huh? But the song is okay. It, it, the song starts to gradually pick up uh, pace. So ultimately, if Darkness had a son, it starts to pick up a little bit more. Too Far Gone, that's where, and I'll be honest, in the theater, I kind of perked up even more. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, now we're, now we're talking. You know, this though, Room of Mirrors, this is the one that threw me off because when they started talking about the re the the message behind the song about how you you go on tour, you see one type of life where you feel this is your reality, but then when you come home, that's you start to realize that's not real. What you are on the road is not real. Home is the reality, and thus you have to kind of, I guess, kind of come off your high horse and accept that this is reality. <laughs> it just threw me off. It was like, wait, first 18 years of... Wait, so you mean your life? Or in general, people's lives? So I guess it's really more about him. You know, James. So, good song, though. Still a good song. Now, the biggest surprise on this record is the epic finale and the Morata. Now, it starts off sludgy and and it starts to build and there's a break like <laughs> that the seventh minute mark basically this is an 11 minute song what i really like about this song is that it is a big emotional epic roller coaster really and it kind of takes you all over the place now did it need to be 11 minutes I question it, but I understand it. It And you have to put yourself into the mindset of the writer, the creator, that what you're putting onto tape or digital in this sense is your heart and soul, your emotion. And for that, if you're going to cut parts out of every song, that's probably the one song I wouldn't cut a single thing off of. Because that that shows the soul. The soul of the songwriter. That song. Um, so, if anything, that even though that ending to that 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 that's the ending to the album, and it ends kind of in a with a slower uh, pace or tempo. I think it's a good closer. It's a really good closer. Now, again, you're going all over the place. You know, you're going all over the place with this record. Some songs are fast, some songs are, are too slow, and then they're kind of you're you're building up again momentum. So that I, it, it you got it's gonna take you a while to get used to it. But the thing that it takes it's gonna take you maybe even longer to get used to is the fact that you you can hear mentally if you've heard a Metallica record before, or even some of the new ones, you know, that's where the song should end. That's where it should end. But it doesn't end there. It just continues. You're like, ah, okay, here we go. All right, well, one more time. Let's just go. <clears throat> Let's go. Uh, four measures more? All right. Oh, we're turning into eight. All right. It's just, ah. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, someone's going to edit it. Someone's going to do them. Someone's going to do fan edits to e uh, almost every song. And you're going to hear the diamond that's, that's there. 
but it's a good album. It's, it's a good album. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, as I hear it again, I start to pick more parts that I enjoy and am looking forward to seeing live. So it's not Lulu. God, no, it's not Lulu. But it is, it's it's a solid Metallica record. Could it be better? Yes. And you, and you know my two points. Is it shit? No, it's not. Is it overhyped? Uh, it's Metallica. <laughs> I mean, the equivalent to this in, in any sense is kind of like Death Clock. You know, there's an episode in the, the old Metalocalypse show where basically Death Clock being the biggest record band, b- biggest metal band in the world, everyone's anticipating this record and they keep erasing the record because they just can't get it right and people are committing suicide because they're like, oh my God, the anticipation. So the hype, I think, was there. Um, it's justifiable, but like I said, it, it's a, it's a good it's a good album. It's good. It just could be better. Could be better. But that's my thoughts. That's just what I think. But what matters is really you. What does it matter to you? Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you have fun with it? Do you not have fun with it? Do you have the same issues I had with it? Go to the comments. Leave your thoughts. Let's discuss. Music, art is subjective. So what I might like or not like is might be the opposite to you. Hey, and that's cool. That's fine. That's, that's life. But anyways, leave a thought, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, go to hereticcircle.com for vinyls, shirts, all that stuff. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.